Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this linear resistive network and to this network, the four independent sources are connected. Now out of the four sources, this VS1, VS2 and the IS4 are the independent sources while this current source IS3 is the variable. And apart from that, we have been also given this table which contains the different values of the IS3 and correspondingly the total output voltage of this resistive network. Now in this table, some of the values are missing and we have been asked to find those values. Now here, as the given network is the linear resistive network, so it will follow the principle of the superposition. So let's say, when this voltage Vs1 is acting alone, then at that time, the output voltage is equal to Vo1. And this output voltage Vo1 will be proportional to the Vs1. So we can say that the Vout is equal to K times Vs1, where K1 is the proportionality constant. Similarly, the output voltage due to this Vs2 can be given as K2 times Vs2, while output voltage due to this current source IS4 is equal to K4 times IS4, while due to this current source IS3 is equal to K3 times IS3. And if you see the total output voltage, then it will be the summation of all these voltages. Or in other words, we can say that the total output voltage is equal to K1 times Vs1 plus K2 times Vs2 plus K4 times IS4 plus K3 times IS3. Now here, we have been given that this voltage source Vs1, Vs2 and the IS4 are fixed values. That means these three terms will be constant. So in other words, we can say that the output voltage V out is equal to some constant plus K3 times IS3. That means here, as the value of IS3 changes, then the output voltage V out will change. So this will be the general expression of this output voltage. Now here, for the different values of IS3, we have been given the output voltage. So when the IS3 is equal to 1 milliampere, then the output voltage V out is equal to 6 volt. That means 6 volt is equal to A plus K3 times 1 milliampere. And let's say this is the first expression. Similarly, when this current source IS3 is equal to 2 milliampere, at that time the output voltage is equal to 10 volt. That means 10 volt is equal to A plus K3 times 2 milliampere. And let's say this is the second expression. So if we solve these two expressions, then we can say that K3 times 1 milliampere is equal to 4. Or in other words, this K3 is equal to 4 kilo ohm. So now let us put the value of K3 in the first expression. That means from the first expression, we can say that 6 is equal to A plus 4 kilo ohm times 1 milliampere. That means A is equal to 6 minus 4, that is equal to 2. So now we got the value of K3 as well as the A. So from this, now let us find the value of A as well as the B. So first of all, let us find the value of A when the IS3 is equal to 5 milliampere. That means V out is equal to A plus K3 times 5 milliampere. Or in other words, we can say that V out is equal to 2 plus 4000 times 5 milliampere. That is equal to 22 volt. That means whenever this IS3 is equal to 5 milliampere, at that time the value of A is equal to 22 volt. Similarly, now let us find the value of B when the output voltage V out is equal to 0. So here V out is equal to 0 and A is equal to 2. And we know that the value of K3 is now 4000. So we have been asked to find the value of IS3 that is equal to B. So from this we can say that B is equal to minus 2 divided by 4000 which is equal to minus 0.5 milliampere. That means whenever the output voltage is equal to 0 at that time 
the value of IS3 is equal to minus 0.5 milliampere. So in this way, we got the value of AS 22 volt while the value of BS minus 0.5 milliampere.